Welcome back to Stardew Valley. I'm your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and comment below. Uh, you might be asking yourself, why is he wearing a coat? And it's a valid question. Uh, one, it, we keep it cold in our house in the uh, you know late fall and winter when it gets a little chilly. So that's one reason. Uh, but I could just be wearing like a sweatshirt or something, right? Well, our washer is on the fritz. So I'm wearing a jacket because I can re-wear it and not feel gross. Which is kind of funny when you think about it. Like if I wear a sweatshirt one time and feel the need to throw it into the washer, why don't I do that with a jacket? Anyway, um, so it's Saturday. There's nothing on the calendar for me to do today. <clears throat> um, why did I get a diamond? It's not anybody's birthday. So I, that's just what they gave me today. Anyway, um, why don't we go with iron today just because i should have brought more gold over from my other shed <clears throat> and done it but whatevs so there's nothing really on the calendar today that we have to deal with so my plan is to actually go fishing now i could go up to the Skull Caverns again and try and get some more Omni Geodes. But I can only handle so much of that before it just gets kind of monotonous and old. <clears throat> so we're going to mix it up a little bit today. We're going to go fishing, and our hope is that we get a chest or two, and maybe we get lucky and get the artifact that we need from the fishing chest. It's a long shot, but whatever, one, two, three, five, eight, nine, and ten, and some wool. Um, so anyway, that's kind of what we're planning on doing today. And then tomorrow, well, what else should we do today? We might, um, you know, we'll go fishing for a little bit. Then we might come back and make some more. I should have made quartz in the um, smelters so what i might do before i leave the farm to go fishing is go and grab the iron which might be done by then i think it takes like three hours <clears throat> so we can go grab it and um Replace it with quartz so that we can do a little bit of flooring later today. It's not a big deal. It's all just kind of for aesthetics or whatever. So, uh, there we go. <clears throat> and then what else can we do today? Uh, oh, we'll check the help wanted ads. If there's something there that we can do, I'm not even going to deal with patting them. I don't care enough about my dinosaurs. It really doesn't matter what quality their eggs are because I'm just putting them into the... Oh, look, they're going to mate. When you see one with an exclamation and another with a heart, the dude with the heart will run down... Um, well, they'll get together and make babies is what it comes down to. All right. So it's only 9.50. I don't think that that iron is going to be ready yet by the time we finish this. We'll see. It's not critical, like I said. It's just kind of to keep working on some of the aesthetics of the farmstead, which uh, most of which is actually done at this point, now that I think about it. 
Um, we need to kind of finish the area around the So we're going to grab six of those and 11 of these. <clears throat> but anyway, do I have any refined quartz actually? Negative. But let's go ahead and grab, where's my flooring? We'll grab these just so I have them as my reminder to deal with that later. Skadoosh. All right, <clears throat> let's go check on our iron. And hopefully it's done. We can then, yep, would you look at that? So we'll go fishing for a little bit. Basically, we're going to just try and catch a few chests. Um, we might get really lucky and get one of the artifacts that we are still needing. But it's, like I said, it's not critical. This is just kind of something to do today that's different from, you know, the stupid Skull Cavern, which I just don't feel like doing again. So here we go. We will check the artifact worms because they're, I don't know if, if you're able to get them in the winter. So, okay, see there, we got an ancient drum. It's not what we wanted. Let's just check the quarry real quick. See, my trees are not growing, but I think that's just because it's winter. Won't really know until, where should we go fishing? Let's go um, right here. It doesn't really matter where I fish, because again, we're just trying to catch chests. So, I'm not going to do this too long, because I don't care that much. I haven't been fishing in a while, though. Uh, why don't we do um, the fun fact of the day? And today's fun fact, hang on, it's hard to do that, uh, is that in order to protest high tariffs enforced by a UK censorship board, a filmmaker sent a 10-hour film. Whoa, is this a Lincod? I think it's a Lincod because they're, they're pretty tough to catch. Anyway, they sent a 10-hour film of white paint drying. <laughs> uh, because this censorship agency had to watch the entire thing as a part of the process or whatever. Which I just find freaking hilarious. So that's an interesting tidbit of info. That's something that I could see myself doing. Like, oh, okay, you want to be jerks about this? Here, 10 hours of white paint drying. And you got to watch every minute in order to confirm that there's nothing on there that shouldn't be on there. <laughs> now, me being the smart person that I am, if I started watching it and realized, like, oh, I see what they're doing here, I would probably speed it up and just watch and see if there's anything that slips in there that I need to then rewind back and view but if as long as all i see the entire time is the freaking wall with white paint drying then i'm just gonna skip over it oh my goodness Come on, i really want to just catch a chest i don't care about any of these fish so this is kind of frustrating 
I didn't, I didn't even really look at what kind of luck. There we go. There's a chest. No, no, no. Don't catch. Okay. I was afraid I wasn't going to get the chest before I got the fish. Jade and iron. All right. Let's see if we can't catch one more chest. I knew this was a long shot, but it's just something different to do with our day. Oh, come on. I clicked. I don't know why that happens, y'all. So, the, um, the appliance repair dude is supposed to come today to uh, check out my washer. So, I might get actually interrupted while I'm filming because they are only an hour and a half from the end of their window which, of course, was four hours wide. I don't understand that. Anytime you need, like, the cable repair guy to come out or any kind of um, home warranty or home, you know, appliance service, it's either between the hours of 8 and 12 or 12 and 4. I just, or like 1 and 5. So that they have their hour lunch break. And, you know, if if I was running one of those companies, like I understand the concept. You want to give the technician some flexibility to shuffle around visits. Man, my tackle ran out. And my fear now is that if I don't, uh, if I get a chest, but it's a difficult fish, I might not be able to get both. But I think we can do it. There we go. All right, come on. Chewing stick. Make it happen. Let's go. Cool. I've been bad for Christmas. Or, I've been bad, and I got coal for Christmas. Well, that was kind of a bust. Which, again, we sort of figured it might be. Uh, let's just come in here and we'll drop some stuff off real quick. Ooh, we got pumpkin juice. Let's, uh, let's hit that. And let's come over here, actually, and hit that. Lingcod. I'm going to keep... Eh, it doesn't matter. Sturgeon? We'll keep a sturgeon. Perch? Bass? Wow. Apparently at some point I just said, well, let's just keep the extras. It doesn't matter. All right. Now we could put something else into the uh, juice bins. It'll be 23 pumpkins yet again. And then we'll go check on our quartz. Finish our flooring project. And that will do it for this day. Oh, I didn't check the help wanted. I need to go do that before I forget. Boom, 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 and pumpkin juice. I wonder what pumpkin juice would taste like. Probably gross, actually. Like pumpkin spice something. You know, you could make the argument that it's delicious, but just straight pumpkin juice sounds kind of brutal. All right, we got a help wanted ad. What's it going to be? It's good douche. A herring. Shane wants a herring, and we can do that. We got to find him. He's going to probably be at the bar here in a minute. So, please have a herring. Surely I have a herring. We got to be getting close to 40 now. I kind of quit keeping track, but I'll bet you we're at like 37 or 38 now. A uh, herring for Shane. I wish when you used the um, return scepter, Seabiscuit would go with you. Unfortunately, 
that don't happen. Hey, kiddos. I see Penny is just allowing... Um, Shane might not be here yet, but I'll bet you he's on his way. Oh, there he is. Skadoosh. All right, so we're not to 40 yet, but we are one closer. All right, uh, now let's head home. And we're going to come over and grab our quartz. Craft some more flooring. And then we'll uh, actually let's just go to bed. We'll deal with putting down the flooring tomorrow. Because we don't have a whole lot to do tomorrow either. So anyway, uh, tomorrow is Harvey's birthday. So we'll go see him. It's uh, a Sunday, so we'll also go and hit the traveling cart just for something to do. When we go find Harvey, we will also check the Help Wanted board in case there's something else there. There probably won't be... Um, but I don't know exactly what the cycle is as to how often. the Oh, it's night market coming up, which kind of stinks because I don't really want to go to it. Where's my other child? There you are. I wish they were just in the same spot every morning. But it kind of makes it like a little quest. Like, where are my children? I must find them. All right, neutral luck probably doesn't matter. I don't really need to check the queen of sauce, but whatevs. Ooh, we got mail. Clint sent us a copper bar. Oh, we got more mail. Oh, winter market starts tomorrow. I don't need to do anything in there yet. Let's go say hello to Koopa. I probably should refill my watering cans. So we'll try and do that when we swing into the uh, greenhouse. Yeah. So Harvey likes wine. Is it good that a doctor likes to get drunk? I forgot to get the gold again. Whatever. Not a big deal. We're going to smelt iridium today. Because why not? All right. Oh, wait. So our uh, last little batch of ancient fruit over there is slowly coming along. Still got a few weeks. I forget what day I planted it. <clears throat> All right. Let's go douche. And one, two, three, four, and ten. Hello, chickens. I don't really need to say hello to you either because how much you like me does not matter because I'm just making mayonnaise with your eggs. Whatever. Honestly, same thing with goats. Like, I'm at the point where, it, you know, goats and cows, it doesn't matter if they like me or not, essentially, because I'm just making che cheese with the stuff that they provide. Although, if I want gold cheese, maybe I do need to keep my, at least my cows happy. So, whatever. It's not a big deal to just run and give them a pat. They should stay happy enough just from me uh, interacting with them each day. So, or probably, honestly, even without me doing that, especially during the uh, spring and uh, the seasons where they're outside. But I don't know. 
I never really looked into the mechanics of how. Um, see, I don't need to. I don't need to worry about pigs either, because their truffles will always be iridium quality because of my perk or whatever. So that's that. Now I know I can be a little bit less deliberate when I go in to uh, see all those creatures. Hello, Slime Hutch. What should we got going on today? Green slime egg. I don't want green. I just love that they chase after me. I think it's hilarious. And you go in there. I'm going to sell the green slime egg because I don't want any more green slimes. I want colorful slimes. Blue and red and purple. In fact, at some point, I might just come in here and kill a bunch of green ones. <laughs> just because I can. And all of their brethren would look on in horror. Like, I thought you loved us. Nope. I'm just using you for your money. All right. Uh, why don't we check the... Uh, Nothing. See, this drives me nuts. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on, give me a artifact that I need. Nope. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What about you? What you got for me? I don't think I can get any of the things that I need from the farm. I think they need to be from the forest or mountain area or whatever. All right. Oh my gosh, just close the gate. All right, so, ooh, why did I go here first? See, got to stay in the routine, guys. Come on now. All right, hit that, and then you come with me. Um, I guess we'll keep these two pine cones, but I don't really care about them at all. And now <clears throat> we're ready to go. So what do we got to do? Go see Harvey, go to the traveling cart, and then we're going to check the help wanted ads. Then we'll come back and put some flooring down. Right? Yeah. So this will be a relatively short day, honestly. No help wanted. Nuts. I wonder if we shouldn't make this a three-day episode. Just get up tomorrow. What's up, dude? Yeah. How are we doing on uh, the social stuff? <clears throat> Who are we missing? Wizard, Quob, Krobus, and the Dwarf. Those are probably the three hardest to get maxed out. So everyone else is maxed out. Maybe that's one of the other things that we can accomplish uh, with our end game goals, but mixed freaking seeds. Come on now, let's uh let's go check the beach for some forageables. Cause why not? We haven't been down here in ages, and there's nothing. Does it reset after? I think it resets on Sunday. That's why, like, uh, yeah, I'm not even gonna go for that. Claim shell. The first week of a new playthrough, it is to your advantage if you can get the 300 wood to repair the bridge on or before the 6th. Because the 6th is a Saturday, and you can get a decent haul um, from the tide pool area over there on that side of the beach. <clears throat> All right, we went and saw Harvey. We checked the help wanted ads, or lack thereof. And now we are going to check the, tra the traveling cart. Although I don't really know why, because there's nothing I should need from her unless she's got battery packs. Yeah, I don't care about any of that stuff. What's up, Jazz? 
Oh, man. Bone flute. Not what I wanted. <clears throat> but it is an artifact. So that's like you can see there. Like that's how sometimes you can get what you're looking for there. Now, on this side over here, I do want to put... I'm going to put some of this path right here because I'm tired of having seeds pop up there. So now that that's done, let's come over here. We're going to pull up the old floor. Skadoosh. When I do my next farm, there are a couple of things about my layout that I do want to change. I do like the fish ponds and the crops area and the um, my little tree empire situation. What I don't like is my slime hutch situation and my... This is okay, but what I think would actually make more sense is if I put the coop and the barn side by side and then eliminate this wall in the middle here. Now, I don't know what that would mean in terms of a dino coop, so I need to kind of think about that. But down here, like these silos would would go. I'm not going to deal with it now, but these silos will go away. Um, the slime hutch will then move over like one space so that it's not right against that, whoops, not against, not right against these crops when I finish this area. But I do need to kind of think about what I want to do with those. I might leave it kind of the way it is, but it wouldn't hurt to um, put those together. So anyway, you know what I'm talking about. All right. So that area is done. Should, should I do down here, I guess? Um, I mean, I'm not using this space for anything, right? So let's come down here. Why can't I put one right there? So dumb. All right. So <clears throat> we'll finish filling in this area. And then this stretch like here and up there. And that's it. So maybe like one more pretty good quartz run of production I could put them up there but it's it doesn't really it's not necessary because stuff doesn't spawn up there that area is grass whenever um, it's in season just like game not grass that I can harvest just regular grass anyway <clears throat> let's get going yeah we're only 29 day or 29 minutes into the episode so we're going to go ahead and make it a three-day episode but i need to look at what's on the calendar oh it starts the night market tomorrow um yeah we'll do it why not Um, I don't really need to go to the night market for any reason other than to socialize with people. So it's not really that critical for any reason whatsoever. Um, the only thing that I might want to take advantage of is if there are people there like the wizard. Um, although with his birthday coming up, I should be able to give him a gift and that maybe get him to max hearts or close. Uh, I know Krobus 
and the dwarf won't be at the night market. And I'm pretty sure the wizard doesn't go to the night market. So there's literally like zero reason for me to go. I mean, the traveling cart will be there, but I don't care. Ooh, we got a good luck day. Um, I think, though, what I might do with that. Okay, so today what I do want to do is check the help wanted. All right, we got cash back rewards from Pierre. I haven't been buying anything from Pierre. What's the deal there? Why am I getting cash back when I'm not spending any cash? Uh, we'll deal with that in a second. Morning, Cooper. Get out of the way. Get! Jeez. Little rascal. What do I need in order to craft... Um, lightning rods. Quartz, that's right. I only have enough bat wings to make three, almost four. So I need some bat wings, too. I need six bat wings and six refined quartz. So, next time we get quartz, I need to do that, hypothetically, instead of, forgot the gold again. It's okay. <clears throat> We're just going to keep doing iridium, simply because... If it gets to the point where I have so many of them and I don't really have anything that I need them for, I'll just sell them. I should tra I should craft a uh, trap bobber. If I'm going to go fishing today, which I might do just because we can, then it might be a good idea to have a trap bobber equipped. We're getting a lot of jade lately, y'all. I dig it. It's like every other day, essentially, that you get it. And we're getting 68 each time. And that's a lot. Wait, we didn't go... Uh, we didn't go buy our staircases yesterday. Ratza fratza. It's okay. One, two, three, six... There we go. All right, eggies or chicks and such. See y'all later. I don't care enough about you to give you pats anymore. Same with you creatures. I just don't care. We've reached that point in this playthrough where I'm just like, F it. And some of it is just because I'm anticipating 1.5 coming out before any of this matters. <laughs> any of these, you know, instances where I neglect people. Sell the diamond. Sell some cheese. I should just sell the iridium. Close the gate. Should sell the iridium bars. I don't need them for anything. But I don't need the money for anything either. In fact, yeah, we're at two and a half million basically. I just, I don't even know what I can spend all that on. There's the thing that is 10 million, the, the clock or whatever, but we're still a while away from having enough for that. Crops will help, but whatever. All right, let's get these wormies here. Chicken statue. Nope. Get on the horse. <clears throat> What's going on with our slimes today? We have another green slime egg. I don't want green. I wonder if that's because, like, the majority of the slimes that I actually kill to generate the slime egg are green. Or if that part is just random. Like, you just put 100 in there and you get, you know, whatever color based on chance. So, there's, I'm sure there's, like, a high percentage of green. 
lower percentage of red, and then whatever. You know what I'm saying. You can actually get black slimes if the witch comes and casts a spell over your uh, slime hutch. But I don't really care if that happens. There's a way that you can prevent it, but I don't care if it happens, so I'm not going to go out of my way to prevent it. Let's do caviar. Why not? <clears throat> and then what did I say we're going to do today? Uh, go fishing, I guess. So let's put those in there. Trap bobber. Oh, yeah, we can make a gazillion of these. We'll bring... I can only do one at a time. All right, so wait. You need to go in there, and then everything else we'd be selling. <clears throat> Where should we go fishing today? The easiest place for me to get to is the mountain lake, because I can just go like this. Well, first, let's grab these worms. Oh, clay. I, I just cannot believe how much trouble I'm having getting these freaking artifacts. I've never had issue. You know, I, I know that I've gotten these things with other playthroughs and seemingly like many times within a playthrough. So it's just like frustrating that there's not only like it, it's frustrating that there's three of them that I haven't been able to get. <clears throat> like if it was just one, I could just, you know, focus on getting artifact troves from the desert merchant to the point where, you know, eventually I'll get what I'm looking for. Bait. Come on with this. There's one chest. Let's go for three or four chests today, depending on how long this episode's running. I don't want to run more than about 45 minutes. So we'll just keep an eye on that. <clears throat> I can use the old return scepter to get back to the farm. So once I quit fishing, the episode will pretty much be over. Oh, I should have gone to check the help wanted ads. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get one more chest. <laughs> I mean, because the likelihood of me getting the artifacts that I'm looking for here are so low that trying to get it from a fishing chest is almost silly. But whatever. Why is my Roomba giving me an update? It should have been done two hours ago. Whatever. Come on, give me a chest. <clears throat> Come on, one more chest, dang it. Oh, see, I was too late because I was trying to check my phone. <sighs> so, um, on my most recent episode that I posted, which was 141, I think we're on episode 152 right here. Um, but I posted 141 last night, and somebody commented that they would like to see me perhaps do a series on MLB The Show where I don't do a franchise. I do what's called Road to the Show. So if you're familiar with MLB The Show, come on, bait again. Whatever, this is not going well. Um, let's head back to the bus stop. Anyway, if you're familiar with Road to, or MLB The Show... You know, there's different modes that you can play on. One where you're just a franchise or whatever. That's the one that I did with my first ever YouTube content. Um, but another me another mode that is quite popular is called Road to the Show, where you're just you're following one person's career. All right, Demetrius wants seaweed. We can do that. 
Um, now with, with, with franchise mode, it took a lot of editing because I would, you know, I would only play like one out of every so many games because baseball seasons are 162 games long and there ain't no way I'm playing all of those. Um, cause it would just take forever. Right. So anyway, um, let's do that. And that, grab, why not, the good seaweed. Um, I guess we're keeping this extra trap bobber with us. Whatever, not a big deal. Let's sell some stuff here. We'll go find Demetrius. Let's, uh, let's go this way. But anyway, you know, the, the franchise mode would just take forever for me to, to work on because I would have to play a game, go back and edit the content so that it was, you know, it was like basically a highlight reel of that, you know, of that game instead of showing like every pitch. So anyway, it was, it was pretty labor intensive, whereas with Road to the Show since the games only show like your at bats or plays that your guy is involved with, they go much quicker and I don't have to edit them because it's basically, I'm just showing you what happened. Um, so I could do a lot more with that one without having to put in extra work. So I kind of like that. Plus, you know, when I'm doing the commentary for, no, nope, still not to 40, apparently. When I'm when I'm doing the commentary for the franchise mode, I'm I'm basically acting like a commentator. You know, I'm showing plays and I'm explaining what's been happening because it's a you know a trimmed down version of the game. Whereas with Road to the Show, I can just kind of chit chat as the oh, come on, get out of the way, Cooper. I can just chit chat as the game is going and be a little bit more colorful in my reactions and my emotions and that sort of stuff. So I kind of like the idea of doing a road to the show series, but I'm not going to do one until uh, the new MLB, the show is out, which should be March. Um, and I'll have a PS5 by then. So anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Sorry to spin down the baseball rabbit hole there, because I know probably many of you don't care about baseball a lick. But whatever. Um, if you have not done so already, please be sure to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Comment below, and we will see y'all next time.